Well, hello and welcome to this first edition of Brave Beaters Garage. Recently, I've made a survey where I've asked my friends from YouTube to provide me their preferences on how would they envision or recreate the Certina DSPH200M. 43 persons answered and today I answered. And I started the creation of this historical timepiece. And after the presentation, the sketches will be sent to Certina in our behalf to see how they react. So curious to see if I was able to do it? Well, let's find out. I collected and processed all the input from my friends and here are the insights. So the case size, the majority of the people chose to keep the original version sizing. In our design, the case will be the same size, 41 millimeters. The second point was the crystal. Here the majority voted without a doubt in a higher percentage to implement the sapphire crystal. So sapphire it is. On the third question, the majority voted for the ceramic bezel insert. Now, on the three common text, I've made a clustering of common preferences to highlight essential features. On the dial level, I concluded that the majority wanted a no date or a date at 6 o'clock, the option to add patina loomed or white loom, a syllab or tectite souvenir, and to keep the original aspect of the 67 model. On the strap level, there should be an extra NATO strap next to the beads of rice bracelet. You've heard me well. And on the case, to have a tectite project mentioning alongside the iconic turtle and liar lugs on the case. So this was the essence of the feedback collected. And I guess there is only one thing to do, it's to start sketching. While I'm sketching, I was thinking to share with you a bit about myself. My name is Andre, I'm an artist and I finished the graphic design school. But I changed my career in 2010 being a user experience designer since then. And the love for collecting watches drawn me into the creation of Brave Beaters channel, thinking that if I'll combine my UX skills with my sketching skills, I can make some valuable content for you. Besides the passion to collect watches, I did military reenactment for more than 10 years, and I do restore classic American cars in my spare time. And sometimes when you see me presenting watches and I'm hiding my nails, means that I've worked recently on the engine. So this is me in three sentences. But to stay on topic, today we're looking to recreate the Certina DSPH200M launch in 1967, a true diver with an amazing look in my opinion, and the first diver to set a new era of amazing divers made by the brand. Beads of rice bracelet. The vintage version had a case that measures 41mm, with the lug to lug of 48 or 49mm. It features a dive-in bezel with an acrylic insert and underneath a loomed triangle at 12 o'clock. The case has short straight lugs, having a slight twist or a bevel towards the ends. Now this is the element that needs to be added in our design, also drill lugs for me, and hope you are okay with that. The 12, 6 and 9 indices are thicker than the 2018 version, so we can add that as well. So what will happen next? Well, I took the sketches, I took them through Photoshop, I diverted them and added some accents here and there. And this is the result. <laughs> So hope you liked how it turned out. I've made two posters that will be sent to Certina that contains the sketches, the measurements and the list of the contributors. One thing to mention is due to the GDPR reasoning, I only added the first name and the initial letter of the second name where was the case. Hope you don't mind. So let's see what we've achieved. So based on results, the case measures 41 millimeters as the original one. The original one being more precise 40.5 millimeters and it was measured on the bezel level because the case underneath is smaller. The original lug width was 19 millimeters but we've increased it to 20 millimeters to enable the use of common size straps. The lug to lug measures 48 millimeters which I assume is the accurate vintage sizing. In terms of preferences, the majority chose a ceramic bezel and thinking that this current model is successful, I proposed the same curved bezel that keeps the same minute and numerals indices of the vintage model. 
The 515-25 indices are offset compared to the minute markers which are closer to the bezel. The inner chapter ring is metallic, having the same tone as the original one or the 2018 model. So Thomas H, we have it. The most voted crystal option was the boxed sapphire instead of the original Hesolite. The dial is as well as the vintage version black, with the same minute markers and the same red crosshair, but this time the indices 12, 3, 6 and 9 are better differentiated compared to the newer models. And as you notice, there is no date. On the research received we had 50-50 odds to add a date at 6 o'clock or a no date. So hope you are pleased by eliminating the date entirely. Steve, I'm pretty sure he is. But most important is to understand that a lot of people felt the need to have a clean symmetry on the dial. One more thing to be added here is the hour hand that needs to be narrower at the base to ensure that sword strength that matches the base of the minute hand. Thanks Ali K, Anthony and Abhi for the preferences shown. And thank you Tulio for highlighting the hour hand because as you know the newer versions have a thicker hour hand at the base. On the case back the majority of the feedback was to keep the turtle which I fully agree and to celebrate the DSPH achievements I wrote on the case back special edition and mentioned the Tektite 1 and 2 projects. Thank you Anthony for the idea to add an extra pin that celebrates the Tektite projects. And thank you Peter and Adrian E from UK for mentioning as well to add the iconic turtle and the Tektite projects on the case back. The bracelet as the most voted is a Beads of Rice. It tapers from 20mm to 18mm, having a classic Certina DS clasp of a 20mm width. Thanks Isaiah, Chris, Certi Dive and Anthony for that idea. On the case I've added a transitional chamfer that increases towards the end of the lugs as the original model. Thanks John for the recommendation. Added drill lugs, I feel that the drill lugs are the definition of the practicality and the cool way to swap the bracelet or the strap. And now the moment we are all waiting for. I've attached the photos to the email with the following text. Dear Certina, we do love everything that you did across history by launching amazing tools that contributed to the development of the Tektite or the Scylla projects. We also did enjoy every reissue of the iconic DSPH200M and the Super PH500M. Here is the proof. So I launched recently the challenge to recreate an anniversary edition of the Certina DSPH200M because we love it and we want it closer to the 67 model. So 43 contributors from the Brave Beaters YouTube channel answered to this challenge. And today we are presenting you our work, our gathered feedback from this initiative. So hope you like our ideas but most important we would love to have a few words from your side. In the attachment you will find two posters plus the research gathered from my friends from the channel. So thank you, signed, Andre from Brave Beaters and Alex P, John C, Chris B, him, Razvan GBL, Peter B, Andre S, Steve F, Bogur T, Nick, Isaiah, Tulio, Alex B, Louis, Malik H, Chris C, Wanderlei S, Certidive, Anthony, Lucian B, Abhi, Ivy or 4, Nishikanta, Thomas H, Mikey, Ali K, Adrian E, Arkel, Sneed, plus other 16 anonymous respondents. And now it's time to send it. Mail sent. And that's it. This was the first edition of Brave Beaters Garage. But still, I got a surprise for you. The reason why I made the posters on A2 format is because I wanted to make you a present before Christmas. So in the description down below, we will find the Google Drive link with those two posters specifically made for you. So hope you like the surprise. They can be printed as an A3 format as posters and they can be placed somewhere on the wall. And you can make a photograph of it and you can tag me at Brave Beaters and I can share the story. Once again, thank you for participating to this first edition. I do feel fulfilled and I do enjoy our collaboration. And until next time, stay safe.